Boy Scout motto is be prepared. And those two words can cover a lot of ground depending upon what you're trying to be prepared for. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at a product that helps you be more prepared for anything from a household chemical accident to a chemical warfare attack. I'm talking about the Fast Act Chemical Decon Ready Kit. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, as I said, this video is going to be about the uh, Fast Act Chemical Decon Ready Kit. And I know that messes up my white balance, by the way, but sorry. Anyway, so the folks at Timelon, the makers of the Fast Act Kit, were kind enough to send me this kit so I could show it to you and to sponsor this video. So the way that came about, a uh, short ramble alert coming, by the way, uh, a little while back, I did a review of a product called Odor Cleanse, which has nothing whatsoever to do with camping survival or general preparedness, but it solved the problem that I was having about stinky clothes due to a front load washer, and um, I, I knew a lot of people were having that problem based on internet searches, so we got together anyway, and, and the product worked. It absolutely did exactly what they said it was supposed to do. I was extremely happy with it, and they contacted me and said, look, you know, we got another product that we make that might be more in line with your subject matter of your channel uh, as far as preparedness goes so that's how that came about now here's why i say heavy emphasis on the regular guy part um, this is a chemical decontamination ready kit so it is very very useful for a whole lot of things that seem to me like possible common occurrences all the way up to what's hopefully not a very common occurrence like a chemical warfare um, cleanup so because i'm a regular guy and not a scientist i um I got a few pages of notes here. I'm going to try to keep this thing streamlined as possible. But we'll just talk about why I think this is a cool kit, and then I'm going to kind of show you um, a basic demonstration. Now, now, let me just say it right up front. I thought about trying to find some chemicals and do some different stuff, you know, and I'm, you know what? There's no way that'll translate through video anyway. So there's a, been a lot, a lot of testing and study and verification done on this product through a lot of people with some really high-tech labs. The information on their website is, is extremely detailed. I've literally spent several hours going over all of it, trying to learn all I can about this product, and I was very impressed with what I saw. So the point is, if you need to see lab results and testing and data, um, you're not going to see that here. You need to go to their website and check it out. There's a lot of information. They've got a, the download link on their website will give you plenty of information about the uh, technical side of this. I just want to show you kind of how easy it is to use and why I think it's pretty cool. So with that being said, instead of me continuing to ramble on because there's no telling how many minutes I've already wasted, I'm going to take you down to the old stump top. I'm going to show you what's in the kit. We're going to talk about the different components of this kit and how you use them, and then we'll um, wrap this thing up. Okay, so what I thought I'd do, because so I've got a couple of pages of notes here, I'll kind of show you what's in the kit as I ramble through my research, uh, <laughs> and we'll uh, kind of tell you why I think this is a pretty cool kit. So first of all, the, um, the main ingredient of the Fast Act system is this fast act powder and there's just two ingredients in here it is nano crystallized titanium dioxide and magnesium dioxide which is a special process they put uh, put those two minerals through to to give them a really a crystalline structure that has 23 grams of this stuff has got the surface area of a football field so it's got a lot a lot of nooks and crannies in each little bitty tiny little particle i guess and, and again if you want more data about that you can you can knock yours i promise you on their website you can just you can read all you want to read they've got there's a whole bunch of stuff talking about the crystal structure and this and that and all the chemical bonding and man it's, it's way above my head because i'm not a chemist so you open it up um basically it, it's just a powder which is pretty cool and this is available in these small bottles it's available in the buckets it's actually available in pressurized contain canisters which are kind of like look like fire extinguishers and it's effective against liquids and vapors so what i did from a regular guy perspective is i just took down a list of a, of a few of the things that i think are really cool about it one of the things i think is cool about it is is this uh, fast act is safe and effective against a wide range of chemical hazards unlike some of the other options that are on the market you don't have to identify what the problem is and use a specific solution to that specific chemical spill it is pretty much across the board there's no danger of, of a violent chemical interaction or anything like that um, and the, the powder itself is safe non-toxic and non-flammable i will say though there's a caveat there it, it, it has the potential to release toxic fumes at over 5,000 degrees fahrenheit um, 
I don't think you'll be there to worry about that. So another thing I like about it is it works really fast, usually within two minutes. What really struck me about this is when I started reading the list of what it's effective against, um, it, it was specifically formulated to counteract liquids and vapors from the top 27 toxic industrial chemicals on some kind of government list. It also is effective against additional toxic chemicals, drug lab chemicals like from meth labs, um, fentanyl, stuff like that, and also chemical warfare agents, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, here's just a quick rundown of some of the things, that's the, the names that of chemicals that stu stood out to me. Hydrogen cyanide, sulfur dioxide, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, different alcohols, um, anhydrous ammonia, chlorine, diesel, gasoline, parathion, sodium cyanide, ephedrine, and toluene. Basically, it's good against a whole lot of stuff. And also, in my research, I, um, I learned more about chemical weapons than I have ever known before, maybe more than I wanted to know. And just so, just a quick side ramble about that. There are basically three different categories of chemical weapons. There's nerve agents, there are blister agents, and there are blood agents. Blood agents are not used so much anymore. They're kind of like individual for, for individual things. For the most part, nerve agents and blistering agents are, are kind of uh, for, for mass use. Um, nerve agents will include sarin, somin, tabin, and VX. And the most common blistering agent is probably distilled mustard, commonly known as mustard gas. And, and that's been around since World War I or earlier. Um, it's been tested effective by the U.S. Soldier Biological Chemical, Com Chemical Command, which is now ECBC, and, and a testing organization called Battelle in Columbus, Ohio, to be 99 point something percent effective against all of those. So um, just pretty good there in case um, for cleaning up af after the uh, aftermath, if, if that happened to happen. Maybe if you live in Syria, this might come in really handy which believe it or not brings me to the end of the extremely technical portion of this video so let's take a look at the actual contents of the kit and i'll do my best to at least show you how to use them so first of all as i said the kit comes with three of these masks and they're not designed to replace a gas mask they're more designed to just keep keep fine particulate and solids out of you know while you're doing cleanup or whatever but you see they're, they're really nice they've got this nice foam this kind of cushion around here they're very very uh very thick and um let's just put them on and see let me take my glasses off for a minute and which first thing you want to do is just put the bottom one on under your ears top one on over your ears then you kind of squeeze that around your nose you want to you want to get it as tight in your face as you can so the air is not coming in around it and that's that's always the challenging part with these masks but ever so fashionable too so but it feels pretty good it's not it's not like crazy uncomfortable that little seal inside the inside here does definitely help so i'm just going to wear this for a minute and let's see how it goes with my glasses if i'm wearing glasses it, sometimes when i'm wearing these masks it'll fog my glasses yep it does and that's just a i don't know another way around that when i when i exhale it's gonna you're gonna have some some leakage on the exhale the main thing you don't want is leakage on the inhale and it feels like it's coming in around through here so there's the mask and this will be the first thing you want to do if you if you're trying to uh deal with with any kind of a, a toxic or potentially dangerous chemical spills you want to, you want to put the mask on okay first thing and it comes with three of these and it comes with this little pack this, a sealed pack uh, with two of these bottles in it they recommend that you uh, keep it sealed up until you need it and then and then make sure you reseal it because the uh the, over time exposure to humidity and moisture could degrade the effectiveness of the product so keep it sealed um, in the emergency kit until you need it so let me just kind of show you how this stuff works because it is really um it ain't rocket science you just pop the top open you hold it up like so and you just squeeze it out so suppose this area is a toxic spill and basically you're just going to want to go squeeze it all over it just get it really you know and what it will do is it will absorb any liquid that spilled there it will also begin to neutralize it if you got a spill about that size you probably want to put the whole bottle on it because it's better to have too much than not enough right kind of like bullets and you see it just keeps coming out you can see um, this little bottle 
Squirts out a pretty good ways and does pretty good. And there's two of those bottles included. So the kit also contains this decontamination mitt and it's really good. It's got the instructions printed right on back of it. So we're gonna follow those. It says to tear open packet at notches. It's got notches all the way around so you don't have to find the right notch. If you're in a hurry, you can just open it up either way. Um, remove the mitt, slip hand in the mitt, secure the mitt in place with strap rubber blot on equipment thoroughly. Use additional mitts if necessary. So I don't really have anything toxic, but the closest thing I've got maybe is, uh, <laughs> well, it might be a little bit of water in here. I'm just going to scoop. Yeah, it's not looking too groovy there. We put a little bit of it here. If we had some kind of chemical, you know, some kind of a toxic or hazardous spill there. We'll take the, uh, open the mitt up, just tear it off there. Pull it out like so. Unfold this thing. So we're going to put our hand in here. Open that. Okay, so it's easy to get into. Open it, put your mitt up here like so. And just put it in. Got a little Velcro. I guess it goes around that way. A little Velcro here. Which way does it go? No, it goes this way. A little Velcro here. Kind of Velcro thing. And it's got this pad that you can see on this side. And basically, you just blot it up. Put a little more up here. What this contains is it can, it's got a like a blotter on it, but it's also got the fast act in it. So even if it doesn't get it all up and dry it, it's gonna um, it's gonna start neutralizing anything that's left. It, what's on the mitt plus what's on here. So and I can tell you that that when it gets wet, it has a little bit of a, a thermogenic effect. So it feels a little warm to me. It's not hot, but I can definitely feel. A little bit of warmth, which means that the uh, the uh, fast act is 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 acting. So there's that. Um, and then you know when it's basically you just throw it away when it's done. The fast act itself is non-toxic and it is not classified as hazardous material. So you can just you can you can do it, you can dispose of it anyway. But depending on what you're disposing of, what you're trying to neutralize, you gotta you gotta take that into account when you during your disposal process. But since this is just water, I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot. And it is a little bit warm, I'll say. Um, not, not hot. It's not like one of those, uh, you know, those heat packs. But it's, it's just a little warm. So that's the uh, mitt. Uh, similar to the mitt, it contains a microfiber towel pack, which contains two towels. And we'll do the same thing with those. Um, and what you do with those is you open it up. Oh, try not to drop it. Um, <laughs> just, this is a Ziploc baggie here, and these are, I believe, these are one-use items also. When you, when you pull them out, there's going to be two towels in here. There's a green one and a black one. Okay, the first you want to use the green one. So, well, the green one is, is, is strictly just a towel. Okay, there's nothing special about it. It's a microfiber towel, and what you want to do with that is just use it to, uh, well, I don't know if there's anything special about it or not. You just want to use the green one to, to blot up as much as you can of this of this stuff so i think this is this is um and it's a pretty good sized towel so it's a uh, smart choice towel so just use this to blot up as much as possible maybe while you're wearing the mitt if it's just something bad that would probably be the smartest thing to do put the mitt on and then, and then hold this uh, once you get this everything you can blot it up and you can wipe it off as much as you can then you got a black one here that carefully unfold it because I believe oh, yep, oh it's got powder all in it so I just dumped the powder out so there's powder inside like so so you just want to use that now this fast act powder and rub it on there and that's going to decontaminate the surface so that whatever is left on the surface or, or any contamination is um, removed and there you go Okay, well that was a very non-scientific, regular guy look at the Fast Act Chemical Decon Ready Kit. A couple of closing thoughts about this. What really impresses me about this is that it is it is a professional grade, military grade, uh, whatever you want to call it, solution that's available for regular folks like you and I. It's been proven effective, tested by some really highly qualified testing facilities. Um, so. I feel pretty confident that it does what they say it's going to do. Obviously, I don't have a laboratory here. wasn't able to get my hands on any chemical warfare agents to test, but but I um 
I did spend a lot of time researching on their website. I would encourage you to do so also. They have some really detailed information, testing results. I mean, they go way, way, way deep, okay? Which they should. It's, a, it's an important subject. If you're going to tell somebody that your product is um, effective against chemical warfare agents, then you, you need to be able to back it up, and they back it up on their website. What I like about it is it's just very simple to use. You don't have to have a chemistry degree. You don't have to have any extensive training. You or I can just grab this kit and use it if we needed to with confidence that A, it was probably going to be very effective because it's effective against a broad, broad range of stuff. And B, we're not going to have some kind of reaction that's going to blow up on us. Um, it's just it's easy to use. And I think it could be a really good addition to your preparedness kit or even just around the house. I mean, if you spill bleach, you spill gasoline, you spill pesticide, something like that, it is very useful for cleaning it up and, and also neutralizing it so that you don't have any toxicity left over there for around kids or pets. I just think it's a very potentially useful product and I really like the fact that it's almost idiot proof and, and that's always good for me, right? Now this is not a super cheap kit. The price of this is about 200 bucks. I do like the fact that it is, it is very easy to use. Like I said, idiot proof for people like me and it's proven effective, tested by some really um, very well qualified testing agencies. And it definitely fits the content of the channel a lot better than the odor cleanse. Although I'm still really, really happy with the odor cleanse. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Once again, thanks to the folks at Fast Act for sending me this so I can show it to you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out another one right here. If you're not subscribed, please click right down in the corner. Subscribe, click that little notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.